Bardock all the way. Let's get it. Don't care about Omni-Man's abilities. Let's get it. But this is almost like going like Goku versus Superman. So I guess we'll have to see, huh? Yeah. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! Another gross bug planet. Yeah, far from it. <laughs> this planet isn't anyone's to conquer. Don't underestimate me! Like my son, sticking his nose in places he's not right. Yeah. <laughs> my son would kick his ass. <laughs> I was waiting for him to say something about Goku. <laughs> Goku <Ooh>, all right, Omni. <laughs> Goku Omni. Goku Omni. <laughs> oh. Whatever you are, you're an embarrassment. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait till you see the real power of a Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to be impressed? Yes. <laughs> nice. Y'all killed it with this one. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Punch him hard. <laughs> Tore his tail off. Uh oh. Wow. Shit. <laughs> Go hit him with his own tail. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. That's right. He can, um. He's like Frieza, I forgot. I won't let you take me from my own. Super Saiyan. <laughs> yeah, regular one couldn't mess with him, I don't think, but. Woo! Uh oh, there we go. a pretty good oh man it's actually a pretty good uh, mm. oh well oh well ashes to ashes dust to dust disintegrate them into the blue sun or whatever color that is <laughs> well See? Fuck. Superman versus Goku. <laughs> okay, these Gokus have got to stop picking fights with guys in capes. Pitting Saiyan <laughs> against Viltrumite is fascinating. Among the many similarities, five specific categories stand out. Starting with speed. 
Bardock is much faster, given his power level match Goku dodging asteroids at 9.5 trillion times light speed, much higher than the Viltrumite's fastest speed. Add on the 50 times multiplier from Super Saiyan, and it's a huge difference. Right, Bardock clearly has the speed advantage, but strength and durability are another story. Though it doesn't seem like it at first, Bardock scales to King Veggie, who wrecked three planets at once, and Omni-Man only smashed one. But given how big that one planet was, the numbers are actually pretty similar. Until we factor in the Super Saiyan boost, right? Well, there's a catch. A major plot point in Invincible involves the coalition of planets admitting that their weapons cannot hurt Viltrumites. So, when their ship's mm. cannon obliterated this gigantic solar disk, it highlighted just how tough the Viltrumites really are. This disk completely blocked the sunlight and heat between a planet and its star. And this is no ordinary planet. Its size and density are so high that its inhabitants are as strong as Viltrumites just due to living in its natural gravity. Mm. To fully block mm. the light to such a planet and remain in consistent orbit, the disk would need to be positioned at its L1 point, the spot that creates an uninterrupted view between sun and satellite, and the disk itself must be about half the diameter of the star in question. This means the scaling of the disk puts it at 3 septillion tons. That's 24 zeros! Which makes Omni-Man <laughs> over 11,000 times stronger than base Bardock. Not even the Great Ape or wow. Super Saiyan forms could make up that difference. So mm. strength goes to Nolan. Still, numbers aren't everything. As far as versatility and combat goes, neither had one distinct advantage that could win outright. Omni-Man survives in space for much longer, but Bardock barely squeaks out the edge here thanks to his ranged versatility with key attacks and, of course, Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's address the Super Saiyan Bardock thing. It's perfectly fair to question whether or not the form should be in this comparison at all. However, <laughs> yeah. even with the form included, I was wondering that. Nolan still takes this, especially when it comes to our last two categories, experience and stamina. Yep, Omni-Man's been around a lot longer than Bardock, over uh, 2,000 years, and wow. even with Super Saiyan, Bardock's no master of the form. And without that mastery, the form drains the user's energies at an increased rate. Which brings us to what may be Omni-Man's most surprising advantage. Those weird smart atoms. Saiyans like Bardock can fight for days on end, but only for so long. Bardock possesses a limited pool of key, which only depletes faster when using super forms like the Great Ape. In contrast, Omni-Man's biology prevents him from tiring in most cases, letting him travel across whole mm. galaxies for weeks non-stop. And his wow. smart atoms adjust to counter whatever physical strain he's subjected I did not know to. about that. <laughs> speed and power made him a real challenge. But Nolan's strength, experience, and sheer endurance presented an unstoppable and unshakable force that would inevitably land the killing blow. When push came to shove, Omni-Man raised the bar! Duck! <laughs> the winner is Omni-Man. Next time on Death Battle! Who is it? I don't think I know who either one of them are. Subscribe Joker and versus... Us in the oh, best okay. Well, I know who Joker is. Thanks for watching. Persona versus... Okay, so these aren't real... The Joker I'm thinking of. Okie dokie. That was a pretty damn good one, <laughs> right? <laughs> Get over and subscribe to Death Battle. 10 million subscribers. <laughs>